Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer at Potsky Outdoors. Today we come to you from Alaska's interior. We're about 45 minutes from Fairbanks at Birch Lake. The reason why we're here, this is a huge, popular, well-known put-and-take lake that everybody from the Fairbanks area, the North Pole area, even people from the Delta area come to fish. It's right along the highway. We're gonna show you how to come up here with your kids, come up here with yourself, maybe bring mom and dad, and show them how to catch rainbow trout on almost every cast. Come on with us, enjoy the beautiful scenery, enjoy the night here in the heart of Alaska. Okay, so we just left Fairbanks. It is Friday night. We're looking at about uh, eight o'clock right now. We decided to do a little bit of fishing. The state fair is going on in Fairbanks right now. So we knew there weren't gonna be a lot of people out here. We're right along the side of the highway here at Birch Lake. And uh, you guys are gonna see the first cast here today. We are fishing for trout. Well, we hope to catch grayling and char and sounds like there's inland Chinook here and everything else, but uh, we're hoping to catch some trout. This lake is right alongside of the highway. The Alaska Department of Fish and Game does a heck of a job stocking fish here. And uh, we're gonna find out if we can catch a couple of these trout that they stock frequently here in the spring. There it is, fish on. Silver label, salmon Stalker, nothing big, but it'll do. First one of the day. Got fish on here. What is it? Another rainbow. I think I see that pink shrimp fireball in its mouth still. It was oh, yeah. a pink shrimp fireball. Good looking fish, real clean. Great fish. Fish on. Here we go. Here we go. Three casts, three, three fish. fish. Hotsky silver label. And I'm guessing that's three rainbows. Maybe three rainbows. About the same size as the last one, about nine inch. Maybe that's that's a bigger fish. It's actually better. It's bigger than you think it is. Yep, that one is. Much bigger than you that. think it is. Hello. Here we Welcome go. to Alaska, folks. Where you can Spicky. catch lily pads and trout with one hook. Nice Alaska rainbow. Look at this thing. Just stop on the side of the road. Toss out some Potsky silver label balls of fire. Three casts, three fish. All right, first time for me in Alaska, having a blast out here. We're out near Fair Fairbanks, and what we're doing is actually fishing a, a lake we've never fished before. The, what we've ran into over here is this lake has a lot of weedy areas near the shore. We're fishing off the bank, just like all of you do, most of you do anyway, and just really trying to get out there and trying to get some of these fish that are tucked into the lily pads and then a lot of the weeds that are in there. So what we're having to do is actually use a peg float, any type of float that we're using, and you can see the actual drop that we have is only two, two and a half feet. So what we're doing is actually running this setup with an actual silver level Ponsky egg, and I'll show you that in a second, running it just above the weed line, in between lily pads, making sure we're keeping it in an area where the fish sees it from below. They're gonna be tucked away in the weeds. They see the egg coming by, and they're coming up and actually just sucking it right down. So simple peg float. I've got eight pound line since we are in weeds. I wanna make sure I keep my float and keep most of the rig if I do get hung up. So I'm using eight pound main line, Small little split shot, small barrel swivel, and a four pound four carbon leader to a size eight salmon egg hook. You can see how small that thing is. Uh, so we're trying to get these things as far as an easy release on these fish. And you can see that leader, it's only a foot long. It's one of the shortest leaders I've ever used as far as uh, trout fishing. So what we're doing is actually using Potsky silver label eggs. And that's what I've been using. That's my choice today. As you can see from my hands, I've been using them quite a bit. I mean, really, the, these fish, as soon as we see any kind of ripple in the water where they've been coming up, we know there's a fish tucked away in the weeds. We try to toss our, our rig and our float right in that area, let the egg just drift down right in their face, and we begin hits all day that way. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's following it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Might be another rainbow. Yep. Hoping to see one of those grayling. All 
right, we've been seeing some fish rise here this evening. So right where they're actually rising is between a lot of lily pads. There's a lot of grass in there. There's pockets though, so you'll be able to actually get through. You're not getting hung up, but you gotta make sure you toss it in the right spot so it doesn't sit on the weeds. Get it in there, watch your float settle. It goes down to, to that level that the actual fish are at and they're hitting it right away. It's on. Not a bad one. All right, so it's um, it's looking about 10 o'clock here, up here near Fairbanks, Alaska, and um, we've caught an absolute ton of fish up here today. We released every one of them for you guys to catch them, uh, even though this is a put and take fishery. Um, Alaska Department of Fish and Game stocks an absolute ton of trout in this lake for the purpose of anglers coming to catch them um, and, and eating them if you so choose. Uh, what we're doing is we're using a bobber for a reason. One, it's very shallow in here. There's a ton of weeds. Um, but what that also allows us to do is set the hook instantly. And then even if we're using bait, they don't swallow it. And that allows us to remove that hook e easily and set that fish free. So we're gonna see if we can get a couple of hook sets, bobber downs on film here. And as you can see, now that the sun has kind of just started to set, there's fish starting to surface all over the place. And uh, what a beautiful scene here. Only about 45 minutes outside of Fairbanks and maybe 20 minutes outside of the North Pole. And looks like John's got one already. <clears throat> Tried to get a bobber down, but I was too busy admiring Beautiful reflections. This looks like it's going to be another beautiful rainbow trout. All right, guys, you saw us catch a lot of trout today here on Birch Lake. Now, how I went about it was pink shrimp fireballs. Now, these had a ton of benefit with them today. For one, they stayed on the hook very well because we have grass out here, and every time I got hung up on some grass, I wouldn't lose my bait. And the pink shrimp has a very strong scent and the fish have been smelling it from a mile away. And they come in, they grab it almost every single cast. Oh, dude. <laughs> All right, got this. Really beautiful rainbow, mm. just out maybe 30 yards out there on a pink shrimp fireball. We have some pretty stiff competition here because you saw the trout just hit that. And when the trout doesn't hit it, this duck does. So we're, watch this, there he goes. Come on man, trout, get it before the duck. This is like a cat and mouse game <laughs> with the bobber and the duck. Just like that. Rainbow. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? That's cool. Here we go. Fish on. Right. Looks like a pretty good one, too. I don't know, Joe. That'd be number five if you can get him to the bank. I can get him here. He's tired of the weeds a little bit. Not bad. A little back on, Joe. Slipped in. Another rainbow. Got him in. Woo! There we go. I think they're starting to move in a little bit. Oh, that's a better one. All right, yeah. They're starting to. Starting to get a little better here. Tonight's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you about 20 minutes outside of North Pole, uh, maybe 45 minutes outside of Fairbanks, depending on where you are. And today we're at Birch Lake. Reason why we're here? Well, the Alaska Department of Fish and Game stocks somewhere between 17 and 18,000 fish a year in here. You know, uh, taking figures from about a year ago, they stocked 4,000 seven and a half inch Arctic grayling. 17,000 nine and a half inch rainbow, 4,000 nine inch Chinook, and even 2,500 10 and a half inch char. 
you know, and this lake is not a really tiny lake, okay? It's 840 acres, has a maximum depth of 48 feet, but what's great about it is it is right along the highway. Now, you'll be able to hear cars go by us today. You'll see that it is a major thoroughfare, basically between Delta and Fairbanks, and it's also a great place. You see us right on the bank today doing exactly what everybody else does. You know, they're grabbing bait, fishing it underneath the bobber, and they're watching it just plunge almost instantly. Now, all of our fish today came on two baits. We used Potsky Silver Label Salmon Eggs, and we also used Pink Shrimp Fireballs. The reason we used the Pink Shrimp today, every sporting goods store we went in Fairbanks told us anything with shrimp in it has been hot. Those Fireballs, they smell just like shrimp, and they work excellent. Now, tonight we spent about two hours standing here right along the bank, uh, fishing for mostly rainbow trout. Uh, from what we're told by a lot of locals, if you're gonna fish on the bank, rainbow trout is likely what you're gonna catch. But one of the things we noticed, it's hard to find a prettier lake this close to Fairbanks where fishing is this good. We had a blast catching and releasing dozens upon dozens of rainbows in less than two or two hours here. And if you use the baits we did, fish them under a bobber, use four pound test, you, can do the same thing. <laughs>